Tzifrei, and here is your Tzifrei buyers. Listen up. I swear to you, this is a great tip. Yeah, I do swear this is a great tip, especially for all of you guys that find yourselves maybe a little short on money to cover your closing costs, let alone your down payment. There are things you could do. Yeah, there's one big thing you could do to get the seller to pay for that closing cost. Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, before I continue, for all of you guys that have been subscribing to my channel, that watch me on a weekly basis or daily basis, that have thrown in the likes and notifications, guys, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, for all of you guys that uh, haven't and you learned something from this tip or any other tip or any other video, greatly appreciate you uh, start subscribing to my channel, throwing the likes, the notifications also. And hey, if you guys are out there and you guys got your own tip that maybe I could spread, spread that word and kind of help other buyers, sellers, investors, just throw it down in the uh, comments and I'll definitely do a video on that to kind of, again, help other people out that might be in the same situation as you. And if you like to just uh, if you have any questions, uh, you could uh, schedule something with me down in the descriptions. Anyhow, okay, so who cares? Whatever. I know. Whatever. Anyway, so listen up. So again, you find yourself short on closing costs? Well, did you know that you could actually get, again, you could get the seller to pay for your closing costs by rolling in that closing cost into your loan? Yeah. yeah. I know. You didn't know. What? Here's how you do it. So let's say you find a house for $500,000. Your lender tells you, you know what? You're gonna need $13,000 in closing costs to close on that house. So what you do, it's best used when you find a house that's been on the market several weeks, several months, because it's easier to get concessions, get things back from the seller when you do that. So again, house is 500,000, lender says you need $13,000 in closing costs. So what you do, you submit the offer on this house, but you don't do it for 500,000, you do it for 513. Then what you do is you ask the seller, here's my offer, but I'm going to need $13,000 back to cover my closing costs. That's right. You're asking the seller, I gave you 13, but I need it back. At that point, the lender will use those 13 for the closing costs. You can do that. However, however, listen up. It's tricky. You got to beware. You got to balance this, okay? Because let's say the house, same house, $500,000. Your lender says, you know what? You're gonna need $20,000 in closing costs. I know you're saying, wow, $20,000, that's a lot, but VA loans, a lot of times are very costly when it comes to closing costs. So you offer 520, and here's the tricky part. You gotta make sure that the house appraises. So let's say you offer 520, but the house appraises for 505. You're back to square one. Because if an appraiser 505 and you offered 520 your loan, you have a $15,000 difference. So you're back to square one because you're gonna need $15,000 out of your pocket or savings account to cover the difference. I'm hoping that that strategy helps you, again, offering a little bit more, getting something back from the seller to cover your closing costs. I hope, helps, hope it helps all of you guys out or any of you guys out there to get you into that house of your dreams. Guys, and that's your tip for this Tipsy Tuesday. Salut.